Here's what's happening today as a homemaker. The life of being home is never dull. There's always cleaning, there's always gardening, there's always beautifying, baking, and just being with the people you love. And so today I am bringing you along on a beautiful day in the summer as a homemaker and mama of three littles. My cottage style flower garden is coming along. The blooms of the daisies are full and vibrant and it is just growing strong. We have had such a wet spring and summer that I have barely had to water and everything just is so full. As I walk through it each day, I envision some changes coming for the next year in my garden because there's just parts of me that want it to be a little bit different and a little more cohesive. Yes, I love the whimsy and ma magical feel of a cottage garden, but for me, I need a little bit more structure. I want to have just some things in my garden that look a little bit different. So I'm excited for changes that I will probably do in the fall, but right now I'm just enjoying every bloom, everything that is coming alive. And in my vegetable gardens, it's been so wet, like I said, that it's been so difficult to weed. So on this particular morning right now, it is really wet ground. So hand pulling is the way to go. And I tried this garden near my potatoes and carrots, but it was so muddy and wet, I couldn't even walk through it very well without leaving huge imprints. So if that's the case, then it's time to move on to a different garden. My little ones have no fear of bugs and worms, and so just showcasing their little treasure of a night crawler. And so like I said, move into a different area. I planted Cosmo seeds in the back of this cottage garden to fill in the gaps. And they, right now when I'm filming, it's not blooming. But now when I'm doing the voiceover, they are blooming. And so I'm just pulling out all the grasses that are coming in because I want the flowers to have their full glory in the area where they are looks a little bit better still some small grasses around but it's filling in and enjoying seeing my little guy through our pathway through the arch and then it's time for me to do a little bit of some deadheading my rose bush this climbing rose is beautiful when it's in full bloom but when they are dead and done uh, there are so many dead blooms that I need to take off. It just takes time, but that's something I can do when the ground is super wet. I can deadhead all my blooms and just maintain the garden in that way. I'm often doing my garden work when the kids are outside with me and I get asked how I get so much done and part of it is you just let the kids be kids. If they say they're bored, tell them go dig in the dirt or go put your worms in a bucket and find some more or go down the slide and just be creative make an obstacle course lots of different things and yes the baby sometimes needs more attention but I love just being outside incorporating the kids into the work and yet still having them do their own play and being creative as they need to use their imaginations as well in the summer months, our meals consist of a lot of sandwiches or egg salad, chicken salad, tuna salad, and I am making an egg chicken salad. I do have an egg salad recipe over on the blog, davykillian.com, if you want to check that out. It's just so simple, getting all the eggs hard-boiled. This time, like I said, I had some extra chicken, so I added chicken to it. I usually add some avocado mayo, some mustard, you could do spicy mustard, salt, lemon pepper, if you have chives, if you have celery, you could put avocado in it, you could make it a spicy egg salad with um, sriracha. There's lots of different options. Make it to what your family likes, but this is just a go-to for us. And then we kind of do just a spread of little veggies, fruit, uh, crackers, either some of my sourdough bread to make a sandwich if you want, or just have the salad on the crackers, like I said, or on the veggies. It's just such an easy go-to summer meal, and you can prep this the night before, the day before, right before, but its salads have a lot of protein as well, which I love feeding my family and for myself. 
All right, the back porch area. This is just such a well-trafficked area and it has our laundry in it, our shoes, our boots. And like I said, it's been wet and muddy. So it is constantly getting used and dirty. And I just needed to shake out the rugs, get the floors a little bit swept, get the mud that our dog shakes on the washing machines off. Uh, because when she shakes, when she comes in the back porch after getting a little bit wet, you know, it goes all over. So there's just a lot of little bit of cleanup to do and it takes time. So just maintaining every area of the home, outside, inside, everything takes a little bit of time. In the summer months too, I don't do as much cleaning in the home, but like I said, it was wet and it did end up raining late that day. So on those rainy days is the time for me to spend inside maintaining the home. Otherwise we're outside much of the day. Does anybody else forget about the back corners behind their washer and dryer? I do sometimes. And my lint bucket. Oh boy, was that flowing. But it just was time to clean it out. And there must have been something wet in there because it was stinky and gross. So I just took this rag to wipe it out, sprayed a little lemon vinegar water spray and the DIY for that is over on my blog as well. Um, I love adding lemon essential oil or bergamot, lemongrass, grapefruit, something like that to give it a better scent than just vinegar. So got that sprayed out and obviously you can tell that's a thrifted trash can but I finally am taking the sticker off of it too. So just getting that corner a little bit more cleaned up because hey it had probably been since you saw my last video back in March or February when I really did a good deep clean of this space. While we're out here, I'm just pulling out the last of the laundry because that will need to be folded and then going to do a wipe down because there is, like I said, some dirt splatters and mud on the fronts of these washer and dryer machines. <laughs> The fly guts and smears and streaks on this back porch door window was bugging me, no pun intended, but I decided to get that wiped up too while I was already doing a little bit of cleaning. I hadn't gotten to arranging my flowers earlier, so I am doing that now. And this vase was a thrifted piece that I found last year and many of you suggested for me to keep it and I'm so glad I did. It's so unique and I just love it with all the different blooms that I have. <music> Like I said, the day got rainier, so I was able to do a kitchen wipe down. This is my kitchen cleaning day when I'm filming this video, so I like to do every once in a while a, a deeper clean. So I'm wiping all the cupboard fronts and getting those cleaned up. We have lived in our house now for almost eight years, which is so hard to believe. We moved from a small little apartment of 450 square foot to our 950 square foot livable space home. And we, after a year or two, we renovated the kitchen I painted the puke green 60s colored cabinets white and found these handles and drawer poles at a garage sale. And um, you know what? It looks like they are a little bit worn and I can tell that, but I'm trying to just maintain what I can right now because the kitchen, a renovation in the kitchen is not in the works right now. There's been some other things pop up at this time that we have to maintain and take care of and renovate. And so right now I'm just loving the space that I have, um, making it nice without the grease spots, the fingerprints by just spraying them down, cleaning it up. And if that's all you can do, that is wonderful. Maintaining the space is good and if you can't afford to fix things up or 
redo it, that's okay right now. Not everything has to be done all at once. All right, I'm diffusing this beautiful scent from um, Eden's Garden. I found this company on Amazon and I'll link it for you. I love some of their scents and they seem pretty pure. I use Young Living as well, but this one seems to be good quality and it's a springtime scent, but it's still such a beautiful smell. All right, I am making a mulberry bread for you guys. I will not have the recipe on the blog, but I can type it up for you in the description box. It's kind of just one that I wanted to pull together because we've been mulberry picking every day um, as much as possible. My oldest, who's five, every day she asks, can we go mulberry picking? Can we go mulberry picking? And so we get probably a cup or two every time we go. We have a tree um, of a friends who we get to go to and another there's a couple other trees where people let us go and pick so this recipe just was one I kind of made up it's a lemon mulberry bread so it's got the lemon juice in it I sweetened it with maple syrup and then I used my organic all-purpose flour and vanilla then the mulberries of course um, egg butter you could use coconut oil and it's just a really simple bread and then it would be delicious with a glaze on it which i did do for our breakfast the next morning and then you gotta get the little helper to stir it up and enjoy the process too and of course we had to enjoy licking the fork because why not it tastes so good This bread could be done with any berry, so that would be delicious as well. All right, laundry time. And I've got the little boy in my arms. It's kind of the two hours, what people like to call witching hour. And so I'm trying to get a little bit of laundry folded in the bedroom because that's where I like to do it at, which makes sense for me because our bedrooms are right next to each other and that's where most of the laundry needs to go. But it didn't end up working to be in the bedroom because the little guy needed a snack. So off to the kitchen table we go. And so I'm just continuing with another load on the kitchen table. And that's the one thing. You just got to adjust. If you want to get some things done, move to where your kids are. Fold the laundry while they're playing on the floor. Or one's eating a snack. The other ones are playing in their room. And just get those tasks done while they are doing something that is occupying them or that they're enjoying doing as well. Snack time for my girls, and they are having some Greek yogurt, which I had just strained because I make my own Greek yogurt, a slow cooker Greek yogurt. Again, that recipe is on the blog for you if you're interested. And I like to put date syrup in it and my homemade granola. That's on the blog as well. We kind of just eat a lot of the same things, if you notice, because most of these things are on the blog, and I just repeat them. Anyways, time for me to make my iced latte because we'll be headed outside and it's nice to put it in a closed cup just because the bugs do tend to like liquids and I'm putting this English toffee sweet drops flavor in there it's stevia sweetened and just going to be enjoying that while we enjoy some more time outside My zinnia patch at our guest cottage is really coming in and so are the weeds. So I'm going to work on pulling some of those while the kiddos again are playing. Finding those snippets of time, like I said, to do some tasks is how I get things done. It really took me 10 minutes is all. So the zinnias are almost blooming and um, next time in a different video, I am going to be sharing some of my garden tours of my cottage garden and all my flowers and they are beautiful. So I just have to take care of a little bit of laundry at our guest cottage, folding the towels, putting everything back in place for our next guest. And I do put a link to our website of our Parkview Cottage in the description box if you ever wanna check it out or you're in the area and would like to stay we'd love to have you. So just putting the final touches in the bathroom. Then 
back to my home where I just do some cleanup from supper time now. So it is that hour when kiddos are either with dad playing or they're tucked into bed and it's time to do a good cleaning of the kitchen. I love kitchen cleaning day. It's so satisfying to me to get all the dishes washed, put away, um, to clean surfaces, to just maintain, again, the space that we live in. And I really enjoy just how satisfying that is because I know the next day when the sun comes up, the kiddos will be coming out wanting food wanting their breakfast and it will get all used and worn and loved again but that's the thing about a home we live in them they're supposed to be used and loved on they're not supposed to just be for show right and so having a place to maintain and clean even with some dinged up ca cabinets or um, places where they're is nicks and grime or you miss some dust whatever it may be is that's okay because you're living in your home you're loving on your home you're raising your family in your home and inviting people into this space but again the cleaning and maintaining of it i think is just worth it all too because when you can have people over when you can share this space with your family it is really amazing to keep it tidy and keep it up and I just value that and I want to just be um, gracious with my space and love on it and I say this a lot but it's just what I do as a homemaker and a mom of three. We care for our children and we care for our home, our spouse and our space. So I use a little barkeeper's friend on my sink, which I do, like I said, once a week to get some of the deeper grime off of there and then just resetting it a little bit. And finally, I'm enjoying a little bit of this mulberry bread and having a little taste. And yes, it was so delicious that I definitely would probably make it again since mulberries are still in season right now where we're at. And it's time to get ready for the next day. So the sink is clean, the bread's put away, and time to feed my sourdough starter so I can use it the next day. And after the sourdough starter is fed, it's time to move on to a little bit more cleaning of the kitchen. With the daylight hours still going strong outside, it can sometimes be hard for me to be inside and cleaning the home but it does need to be done and otherwise we don't get the rest in the evening as the sun at this time isn't setting till about 9 30 and so it's vibrant strong sun but the kids are in bed the home is being loved on and i'm just trying to do the best that i can for my family and i'll get to enjoy the outside time when the kiddos are awake in the morning when I go out for my walk and sometimes when the sun is setting and I can enjoy my gardens or have a fire outside in our fire pit or just go for a stroll it's just each season of life brings different things that we can and can't do when I had a little newborn every time I've had a newborn I often was nursing or holding a baby when the evening hours were happening and so I am grateful for this time where I can do housework go outside without having that interruption and if you're in the stage of nursing and feeding a little person often this too shall pass I've been told this many times but enjoy the season you're in um, the time does go fast because right now I've got a one-year-old, three-year-old, and five-year-old, and I can't believe I have a five-year-old. It just goes really fast. Yes, those days are hard. And yes, I still do nurse my little guy right before bed and sometimes through the night, but I am still just embracing the season I'm in, enjoying where I'm at with life, and now enjoying a little bit of tea because the work is done. The kitchen is reset for the next day and I am going to enjoy this time that we have some little bit of peace and quiet as husband and wife to enjoy sitting together when the sun is going down. Have a blessed and wonderful day, friends.